Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Kinematics, one dimension, free fall, downward motion. Question one. A stone is thrown vertically downward at an initial speed of 40 meters per second from a height of 65 meters above the ground. A. How far does the stone travel in two seconds? B. What is the velocity just before it hits the ground? This is uh, the question related to free fall. In free fall motion, an object experiences negligible air resistance and a constant acceleration due to gravity. All objects at the same location above the Earth have the same acceleration due to gravity. So the acceleration due to gravity is directed towards the center of the Earth and has a magnitude of approximately 9.8 meters per second squared. So in this question, the given information is initial speed of 40 meters per second is downward. The height is 65 meters, which is the displacement total, the height. And we're looking for the displacement when t equal 2 seconds, looking for how far does the stone travel during the 2 seconds. And then we need looking for the final velocity before the stone hits the ground. So let's draw a picture to label all the information. So we, in this question, because the stone threw downward and the acceleration due to the gravity is downward, everything downward, so we just said downward as positive. The vertical, this is the y direction. The initial velocity, we said the v, zero y. The acceleration due to gravity, we said a. And the total displacement is 65 meters. But when we're looking for the first question, which is looking for how far does the stone travel in the two seconds, so obviously we can see the stone is somewhere is not 65 meters yet, right? We predict. So we write the information given. V0y equals 14 meters per second. The acceleration due to gravity equals 9.8 meters per second square. The time t equals 2 seconds we find a, a dy, which is related to the time to second, and the v, we're looking for, before the stone hits the ground, the final velocity. Using the kinematic equation, the A question we're looking for displacement, so we use dy equals v0y times t plus 1 over 2 acceleration times t squared, this formula. So we given v initial y equals 14, we put 14 meter per second multiply two second plus one over two nine point eight meter per second square times two second square. So we have twenty eight this second, this second cancel out we have twenty eight meter plus 
1 over 2 multiply 9.8 equals 4.9. Then multiply 4, we got 19.6 meters. So total add together 19.6 plus 28, we got 47.6 meters. But the question gives us two second digits, so we just uh, Round to 48 meters. The B part question to looking for the final velocity, we use V final y square, you call V initial y square plus 2 times acceleration times the D. Because in this question, we're looking for the final velocity before the stone hits the ground. So the D also talking about from the place to drop the stone to the ground, which is 65, 65 meters. Right? We're looking for the final velocity just before the stone hit the ground. So the displacement, we need for the 65. So we have 14 meter per second square plus 2 times 9.8 meter per second square times 65 meter. So we got 196, 14 square plus 2 multiplied 9.8 multiplied 65, we got 9.8, we got 1274, yeah, the unit is meters per second and squared. So both of them with meter, per second squared. So the answer is, and then plus 196 equals 1470 meter per second square. Because it's the final square, that's why we get the square root, and we get the square root. So the v final y equals square root 1470 meter per second square. The answer is 38.3 meter per second. So also because two second digit, we can give the answer, let's say, and the final y equals 38 meter per second. Okay, this is repeated by wise guy.